Hey guys, this is Goldie again. In the previous videos, I, I talked about what G Suite Archive license is and what are the impacts, benefits, and limitations, and how do you apply it for your users right from your admin console one by one. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can apply archive license to multiple users at once via the CSV file. So let me share my screen and show you how you format the CSV file, how you upload it, and how do you check the progress or the success status. So for that, I'll go to users. And then I have this contractor OU where I have these three users. I'm gonna archive all of them at once. In your case, you might have tens of uh, or hundreds of users for that but I want you to pay attention here so especially if you look at this user which is 101 when I click on this user you will see that this user does not have any license assigned neither the G Suite nor the Google Voice no licenses are assigned to him he has cloud identity free okay but rest of the two users in this organizational unit they have G Suite Enterprise license. Okay, so let's create our CSV file. So in, in our CSV file, we will have two columns. One is email address, where you can put uh, either the primary email address or the alias email address of your users that you want to archive. Recommended is the primary email address. And then you can put archived as their new status so that they can be archived these users should already have a G Suite license either the business or the enterprise as for the case for 101 as it does not have either of those licenses you will see that this user will give us an error saying we have insufficient licenses okay so I will export the file with CSV and then I will go to my users click on bulk upload users click on attach CSV attach the file that we just created open it and click on upload and here you will see under your task the progress of the CSV processing and you see can't bulk upload user info some rows could not be processed and when I click on see details it says two rows successfully uploaded one row has errors and could not be processed and when I click on download logs and when I see the logs you will see that for 101 it says action field insufficient archived user licenses now it says insufficient uh, which is not contactual because I have 5000 user uh, licenses in my console so that's not true but the reason that it says this is let me just refresh and show you other two users were fine so they both are archived but not this one because it does not have any license assigned All right so if you see it does not have so if I go to now assign it the G Suite Enterprise license okay and now if I upload the same CS CSV file again this time it should go ahead and archive that specific user so a couple of them were already there and they should be skipped uh, okay so it says three rows successfully uploaded and now if I go to contractors uh, and I do a quick refresh the third one which is 101 is now archived so this is how you archive users in bulk via CSV make sure that they already have the license you cannot just initiate a user with archive license unless they already have G Suite business or enterprise license now let's talk about unarchiving them maybe they are coming back and then you need to unarchive them in bulk and for that all you need to do is nothing change here other than the status so instead of uh, archived you will make the status active okay and I will then uh, download the file again as a CSV file go back click on bulk upload user attach my new which one is this final file open it upload it and it is processing I can see the processing in my tasks 
and very soon I should expect to see success. So all three were processed. Let me do a quick refresh and then I'll go to my contractors OU and now their status is active. So this is how you archive or unarchive multiple users at once via CSV file. If you want to learn more about G Suite archive user stuff, go to my blog post which is goldiorora.com slash au uh, where I have put things in more details and that might be helpful for you. With that, thank you so much. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much.